Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 15. As always, I'm Shane, and today we are going to be going over the media module. Not only that, but we're also going to look at how it can be used to upload files to your Drupal site using a nice file interface, and also how it can be used to embed other, not necessarily files, but other different media types from other sources, such as a YouTube video. So let's go ahead and start by jumping onto our test.codekarate.com site and we're going to download the media module. So I'm going to hop into the command line and just download the media module. And to show you what it looks like, I'll go to the modules page and scroll down and you'll see that there are three different modules that it has file entity media and media internet sources uh, one thing you're going to make sure you need is C tools or KS tools that needs to be installed and enabled so I'm going to use all three in this example so I'll turn all three of these on hit save and there it went and I'm going to then start by creating a content type. In this content type I'm just going to call it media for this example. We'll leave everything else the same for now. And I'll come into my media content type and I will go to manage fields. And the first thing you'll need to do is select file as the field type. I'll just name the field media and you're going to want to select media file selector. So I'll go ahead and click save on there. We're going to keep the upload destination at public files. You can then select the different types of file extensions for uploading files. Select the if it's public or if it can be used for public or private. You can set a maximum upload size, select a specific file directory, and then of course the upload destination which we already set, as well as how many values can be uploaded into this field. I'll go ahead and click Save, and now we will add a test media node. So we're going to come down here and there's a media field here. We're going to hit select media. And that's going to open up a little dialog window. Here you can see we can upload a file directly from our computer. We can use a URL or embed code from the web. However, we don't have any supported providers installed and we'll go over that here in a second. Or you can grab something from the library which is currently empty. So I'll start by uploading just a test file. So uploading uh, just a text file, you can see it drops in here. You could remove it if you need to or overwrite it. We'll click save. And now you have a node created called test media with this file dropped in. Now if we go to create another node of the media type, and you come in here, you can see that now in our library we have this test text file so we can reuse it uh, on other media content that we want to create. The next step we're going to do is actually look at embedding a YouTube video. In order to do that we're going to use the media YouTube module and this will integrate in with the media module so we'll download that. Now that that's downloaded, we can enable it. You can of course do this through Josh as well. And you can see the versions we're using. We're using the 1.2 version of the media module. We're not using the 2.x version which has some new features, but we, in this example we're using the more stable 1.2 version. Go ahead and save this. And now when we go into our content type and we go into manage fields, 
we can excuse me we want to go back and we'll actually try to create one just to show you how it looks so we'll go into media we'll select we'll go YouTube video and when we select media we're going to go to the web tab and you can see that the YouTube module we installed now creates a listing for YouTube as a su supported provider so we're going to hop over to YouTube and grab a video I'm just going to grab a video here and we will then copy that URL right into the text field click submit and you'll see we get an error it says only the following files are able to be uploaded and that's the image so we're going to need to go back into our content type go into our file media selector here we're going to click edit and you can see it tells you allowed remote media types so you can have a remote images remote audio or remote video so we need remote video and we're also going to select the URL or URI scheme for YouTube and hit save and now if we go back we'll go ahead and just refresh this page and create a new YouTube video if we come down here and select media go to web paste our YouTube link in again hit submit you can see that it brings the thumbnail in from YouTube we can hit save and your YouTube video has been linked to your uh, your content that you created now this of course doesn't seem very useful because your goal here is probably to actually embed that video so that's where we need to go back into the content type for media and we'll go to manage display and instead of using generic file let's go ahead and select rendered file for the media field that we created if we click save come back over to our content we just created and refresh you now have an embedded YouTube video the next step is actually changing the look of this YouTube video a little bit and we can do that by coming in to configuration and we're going to then set some configuration options for this video or for the YouTube display it's taking a little bit of time here to load for some reason so we'll let that spin for a second here but I'm on the modules page if you come down here you'll see that there's a configure option for the media module I'm just gonna go ahead and go to that you can also see it's in here somewhere but so you can select your default uh, different media types here But what we really want to do here is we want to come back in in the file entity module here and we want to click on configure on that module so what this allows us to do is it actually allows us to do a couple things it allows us to change the audio display fields or manage the actual display of the audio same with the image and video different types but we're going to be looking at just the video here so let's click on manage file display and you can see the enabled display our YouTube video and YouTube preview image we're going to go to YouTube video you can change the width height the player theme we're gonna select dark here just so we can see how that would look you can change the progress bar change settings on different controls and just a whole bunch of different options to really customize how the player will look so we're going to save that now we're going to go to the YouTube video and you can see that now the entire player has been rethemed a little bit and it just changes the look of the player 
So that is all that we have to go over today. And we'll be back again tomorrow with uh, another episode. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Thanks for watching.